Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. I'm Peter Drury and it's my chance to say that it is an absolute delight to have Jim Beglin beside me. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here. It really is. That had to be more accurate. And he's done it! And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. Deadlock broken. It's 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Goes long. Well played, he saw that coming. Thrust towards the front line. Looks like a good ball through. That intervention was very necessary. Danger averted for now. Oh, good interception. Otamendi. Cuts it out. That's a brilliant interception. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Yeah, I think the problem there was that the pass was, was telegraphed. An easy read for the defence. Looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. For Tongan, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Tries a through ball. Benfica finally get themselves a breather. He had a decision to make there and he got it absolutely spot on with a beautiful piece of timing in the tackle. Any hesitation then would have either seen him get a card or his team concede a goal. I can only say, well done, sir. Rafa Silva looks to dink one in. Seferovic. And that's a throw. -in. He's gone for it! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Well, for me, he had a very decent crack at it, but it has to be said that the odds on those from distance were never really that good, and you'd always favour the keeper in that instance. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. And it's half-time here. Not the most convincing of displays. They could certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence, and not rush into mistakes. Benfica don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back though. Looks to slip it through. Timely intervention. It was all about the quality of the delivery and they come away with nothing. Seferovic. With the ball through, Rafa Silva looking to get on the end of this. Another piece of really good defending, pumps it upfield, passes it through. Well, when it becomes that speculative, I think it requires something from the very top drawer, and he had to think a little bit more about that. In the end, he's just opted for raw power. Done very well to intervene. Out to the left it goes. Benfica have a poor touch to thank for getting away with it. Well, those are the kind of mishaps that all players experience through their careers. Uh, a mistake when you least wanted it, and it's just very annoying. And it's Seferovic. Let down by a lack of accuracy. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Hoists it high. That's good defence, uh, plain and simple, good defence. They refuse to allow a turn. Back to the keeper and go again. That'll be a throw-in. It's a good throw at all, really. He's given away possession cheaply. 
Now it's Seferovic. Benfica are running out of time to save themselves. Well positioned to make that interception. Uh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Now this could be a pivotal moment. Dying minutes, free kick, great position. He's trying the shot. Oh, lots on that one, but he couldn't find the target. Now the pass. It's it into the middle. Certain amount of room for debate here, but a goal kick's been given. There is the fight.